As of June this year, Microsoft no longer supports Internet Explorer as a standalone browser. For users that still need to access Internet Explorer specific sites for some reason, Microsoft will continue to support them by providing an IE mode in their Edge browser. Selenium supports the IE mode in Edge browser with the IE driver server. In version 4.5, I added some minor features that should make it easier to use IE mode. First, I'm gonna demonstrate how to run standalone Internet Explorer browser on Windows 10. I have code examples for Python, Java, and .NET in the article on my website. But for this example, I'm gonna use an interactive Ruby shell inside of a command prompt as an easy way to demonstrate this. I'm requiring the WebDrivers gem, which will in turn require Selenium WebDriver, and this is going to automatically get the latest version of IE driver server for me. Now, there are a few known issues when starting Internet Explorer for the first time. A basic command is very simple, but when we execute this, uh, we immediately get this error and it says that protected mode settings are not the same for all zones. So let's open Internet Explorer. When we go to Internet Options and go to the Security tab, and we just need to make sure that this Enabled Protected Mode is either turned off or turned on for each of these zones. I'm going to turn it off for everything. Yes. Close everything out. And now let's rerun this. Great, this is working. Except now we get another error. This error says the browser zoom level was set to 200 and it needs to be set to 100. So let's go back to the browser and just in the drop down here it says zoom 200%. We just need to set this to 100%. Close it out and rerun. And everything works as we expect. Next, I'll show how to run Edge in IE mode for Windows 10. I'm going to show both Internet Explorer driver 4.3 and 4.5. And again, I'm showing this in Ruby, but I have code examples for Python, Java, and .NET in the article on my website. The web driver's gem by default is going to get the latest version of Internet Explorer driver. So I'm going to explicitly tell it that I want to use IE driver 4.3. And I'm going to do this by setting the required version to 4.3. To tell the IE driver class that we want to use Microsoft Edge with IE mode, we have to specify in the IE options class to attach to Edge Chrome. Now when we run and start a driver with these options, it's going to give us this error, which says expected error launching IE. It's essentially saying it doesn't know where to find Microsoft Edge. So we have to specify in our options Edge executable path, and we just need to put the location to MS Edge as the value in this parameter. So now when we run this, try to start the driver, uh, we get another error. This error is zoom level set to 200%, but when we go and look in the settings here, it's already set to 100%. I do not know how to adjust this. So we're gonna set ignore zoom level to true and now when we run it, it's working as we expect. So let's go ahead and open a website while we're at it. Navigate to Selenium. And there we go. It works as we expect. The good news in IE driver version 4.5, I wrote some code to make this slightly easier. So let's set our acquired version back to the latest version of IE driver. And now let's create an options instance that ignores the zoom level 
and it says to attach to Edge Chrome, but it doesn't specify the location. So now when we start the driver again, we see it automatically finds Microsoft Edge. Now let's move to Windows 11, and this is where it gets more fun. And remember, I still have examples for Java, Python, and .NET all on my website. So I'm going to open the terminal and go to my interactive Ruby console again. And we're going to require web drivers again. And this is going to automatically use Internet Explorer driver 4.5. Now, Windows 11 doesn't even have Internet Explorer installed. And so we shouldn't have to specify that we want to use IE mode in Edge. It just does it automatically. It defaults the same way to use IE mode, and it defaults to automatically locating it. But we have an error here. Again, it says zoom level needs to be 200%. And again, I don't know how to change this value. And so we need to create an options instance where we explicitly ignore zoom level. So let's start the driver with these options. And there we go, it opens. What about the error? No errors. Now let's try navigating to a website. Let's go to Selenium. It navigates to Selenium, but it's not returning control. It's hanging. So we need to figure out what's going on here. Why is it hanging and not returning control to the code? Essentially, we sent a command off to the driver, and the driver's not responding with anything. We'll go ahead and cancel out of this, abort it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to set, in Ruby, we need to turn on the debug mode in the logger. And then we're going to create a service class instance to tell the IE driver that we want it to log things as well. The service class is specifically for managing arguments and such for uh, the driver itself. So we're going to pass in an, an argument. So it's a command line argument that it's going to get sent when we start the IE driver server. And we're just going to set log level to trace. So now let's start the driver again with the options we set before in this new service instance. And this is just going to tell us what's going on. So again, it starts it just fine, and now we need to do a navigation. So again, let's go to Selenium and see what's going on. Oh, no. Okay, this is going to wait like 30 seconds. So let's cancel out of this. Forgot one thing. We want to limit how long uh, the page load is going to take place. So I'm going to set a timeout value in the options class. Uh, for the page load, uh, it's just page load. And we'll set this to just a thousand milliseconds. We just want to see what's going on. So one second. Now let's start the driver. We can go back and navigate. And here we go. Yep, same problem. It, it timed out after a second. And so now we just, let's go back up and try and find this error. Okay, let's, we're walking through the trace log here for the driver. And we're just looking for something that's giving us a clue what's going on. This all looks good. Oh, here we go. We have a, an error here with uh, protected mode. We've seen this before. So there's a protected mode issue. The problem is that when Microsoft removed a lot of the Internet Explorer functionality, it did not provide a way in the UI to properly set 
protected mode settings. So let's try to just ignore protected mode settings and see what happens. This should allow it to work. Start the driver. And we need to navigate. We navigate and nope, it's hanging. That did not fix it. So let's cancel out of this. What's going on with protected mode is that IE driver by default starts on a local host page and we want to navigate to an internet page. And so it is not allowing us to do that. The first option for addressing this is we can set an initial browser URL. And this is kind of going to trick the driver into getting past the protected mode complaint it's making. So as part of the starting session, it's going to navigate. Let's, let's navigate to the documentation page since I've spent a lot of time working on Selenium documentation. All right, so let's go ahead and start this. And sure enough, as part of the startup, it is navigating to our documentation page. And let's navigate somewhere else. Let's navigate back to Selenium. And there, it does it with no problems. Uh, let's go ahead and turn off the, the tracing mode here now that we no longer need to look at the debugging. The more correct way to fix this problem is to actually set the protected mode settings. And we have to do that from inside the registry. So we're looking at HP current user software, Microsoft Windows, current version, internet settings, zones, zero. And for each of these zones, we need to set 2,500 with a value of three. Zero means that it's turned on. Three means that it's turned off. Oh, it's, that one's already here. And it's already set to three. Now we can set all of these to three or to zero. I'm setting them all to three. And yes, uh, three is the same in decimal and hexadecimal, so it, it doesn't matter which you, you select there. And so the last one here, 2,500 and three. Great, now all of our protected mode zones should be set to the same value. And let's see if that fixes things. Let's start by clearing out all of the options we no longer need. Essentially all we need right now is to ignore zoom level because that's the only one I haven't figured out how to change. So there's our options and we don't need service at all anymore. We were just using that for the trace logs. So here we go. Let's start the driver. Here we go. Edge in IE mode. And can we navigate? Let's go to Selenium. And there we go. We navigated and we still have control. That's exactly what we're looking for. Hopefully now you have a better idea of how to work with IE mode in Microsoft Edge. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out or find us on the Selenium Slack channel. We'll be more than happy to figure out how best to answer your questions.